Hey everybody, this is Liam with Liam Photography in Atlanta, Georgia area, and uh, Janice and I are out today in Dallas, Georgia. Uh, we're just out driving around trying to find cool things to photograph. Um, we like uh, living in the Atlanta area, well in Georgia in general, because there's just so much historical stuff in the state of Georgia. Um, whether you're a history buff like myself who's into Civil War uh, monuments and, and historic places like that, um, or if you're just into uh, some of the really cool older churches they have here in the Atlanta area. Uh, there's just a lot of cool things in uh, Georgia for everybody to enjoy. So today, like I said, we're out uh, in the Dallas, we're in downtown Dallas. Uh, we've never been to the downtown section of the city um, until today. And there's some cool fountains here that we're gonna photograph and just some other things. Uh, just basically doing like a little mini photo walk and, and seeing what kind of cool stuff we can find and shoot while we're here. So let's see what we can find. So as I mentioned before, we're here in uh, Dallas and we found this really cool fountain. Um, and I'm just getting some quick photos of this. Um, just because it looks really cool. Uh, I like the way the water comes up out and they got them, uh, there's several, basically, uh, uh, fountains you can see here that uh, of different heights where the water's shooting up out and I just think that's a little bit cool I'm gonna increase my shutter speed a bit and see if I can uh, freeze the water a little bit more and we'll see how this works but we're gonna try it out So here I am, I'm now down at the other end of this fountain, and look at how tall these last two columns of water are. Uh, just insane how tall the water columns are on this end of this fountain. And it's really cool. Um, we love to shoot stuff like this, uh, just because it's a little bit different. Um, and uh, in the greater Atlanta metro area, there's quite a few uh, towns that have these fountains nearby or in the city, uh, city centers and stuff like that. So I'm just going to walk around to the end here and uh, kind of get a shot down through the entire group of uh, water bursts here that we have. So let me get a little bit more of that. So right now I'm going to move around here to the front side of this uh, Baptist church. So I can get a shot of it because I think it's a pretty neat looking church uh, the Southern Baptist religion of course is really uh, the most predominant one in the south as most everybody knows and uh, this is a really cool looking church so I'm gonna photograph it get some pictures of it getting a little bit of lens flare because of where the position of the Sun is so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to move out of that uh, prevent the lens flare or not but we're gonna see it by moving a bit we can get rid of some of it and it's still quite a bit of it there if I shoot a little bit lower I think I can avoid some of it so now as I'm sure you can see in the video um, so downtown Dallas, the main street is extremely narrow. There's no parking on either side of the street. Um, and a lot of the small towns in Georgia are that way. Um, which in a way is kind of nice uh, because in so many areas, uh, people tend to park on both sides of the street and sometimes even double park. And then that just creates a nightmare um, for pass through traffic. So by having the narrow streets and pretty much no parking on either side you pretty much eliminate that uh, that problem of the uh, congestion and then the uh, pass-through traffic is allowed to travel a lot more easily now one of the things you'll notice here in downtown Dallas is a lot of the storefronts are still active so there's a lot of small businesses up and down the main street here on both sides uh, which is really cool, um, especially compared to Sparta. If you've seen my video on Sparta on my Forgotten Pieces of Georgia series uh, YouTube channel, I'll put a link to it in the description. And uh, it's just good to see a nice uh, small town like this where there's still a healthy small business presence. Um, 
I really, I really like to see a lot of uh, small business owners succeeding, especially in a small town like Dallas. Now, one of the things I came across in front of this little arts and gifts shop is a bench, a wooden bench, and the back part of the bench is actually made from uh, a mock Chevrolet pickup, tr uh, pickup truck tailgate. Pretty sure that's not a, a real pickup truck tailgate because of the fact that it's kind of small. Usually they're a bit wider than that. So I want to say it's probably a, uh, a faux uh, truck, truck tailgate. Uh, but it is kind of cool looking nonetheless. And then over here, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good shot of it because of all the reflection off the window glass. But I really like these antique 7-Up uh, bottles here. Um, with the uh, fresh up with 7-Up uh, metal six-pack carrier. So another kind of cool uh, building that I found here in Dallas is this uh, Etowah Brewery. And uh, peering in the window, it looks like they're actually uh, getting ready to open their own little microbrewery um, right here in town. Which is really cool. I'm going to step across the street here and kind of keep the video rolling on the storefront. But I wanted to be able to get a wider shot of the building. I'm getting some lens flare, but not much I can do to avoid that. But still, it's a really cool. You can see the old Coca-Cola sign up on the top there that says Etowah Brewery. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. So I'm back here, closer to what would be the square of Dallas, the town square, and uh, you can see there's a neat little park here, and another water fountain there. That I'm gonna I'm gonna get closer to that so I can get a couple of close-up shots of that. But uh, just pausing here briefly because, uh, quite frankly, it's hot out today, and to get a moment to stand in the shade is really nice. So here I am up closer to this other waterfall in downtown Dallas and uh, wanted to get some shots of that and I'm not going to bother waiting for the cars to stop passing through because they're going back and forth through here fairly regularly so we'll just shoot around it and not worry about that so much. Okay, so it looks like I found the other side of that brewery, the Etowah Brewery, um, and actually this side looks like it's the entrance to an actual tavern. Um, so I don't know if maybe they're getting ready to put in their own local brewery, because um, it didn't look to me like the brewery was fully set up when I looked in the other windows, but I could be wrong. Um, but still, it's a really, really cool, really cool to have a, uh, a small uh, brewery slash tavern in your town. Uh, a lot of people in Georgia, I'm sure that's popular with a lot of people down here because Georgians definitely love their beer. That's for sure. I'm not so much of a big beer person myself, but I know a lot of people um, in this area are. A lot of my coworkers are big into the microbrew culture and uh, trying different types of microbrew beers. And uh, this Bullock's building looks like it's empty currently, but uh, they might be uh, getting it ready to put something new in there as far as a business or some sort of store. Run down building, um, but there's currently nothing in there at this time. And then you got uh, a salon over here, and down from the salon, I'm not quite sure what that is on the end. Has an open sign in the window, but. Uh, I don't really know what is uh, what kind of small business that is. Let's get over here on the end more. And I still can't really tell from outside here, so. But it is a cool looking building, and there's some other cool buildings here on the back side of the square. Uh, law firm and uh, Paulding Instructional Site, uh, which is a division of uh, Georgia Highlands College, Kennesaw State University. So uh, that's pretty cool there. And then, of course, over on this side, pardon me a minute while I walk over to this side so I can get a little bit of a better shot. There's actually the, uh, the uh, courthouse here. And I'm not 100% certain, but I'm assuming this is the Paulding County Courthouse. 
Uh, definitely, I'll look into that later. But I think Dallas might be the county seat for Paulding County. Um, and that's definitely a really cool old courthouse that's been kept up. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's super old. Probably not, you know, it's not like 17 or 1800s old, but it's definitely a cool building. I love that they use a lot of brick in the architecture. I'm down here in the south, especially in Georgia. So I really like that. 